<sighs> the Pittsburgh Steelers are back. Why? Why? You know, Baltimore is having a fun time controlling this division, not having to worry about anything. And here comes Pittsburgh doing what they always do, saying we about to take control of this division because we truly rule over it. So sick of Pittsburgh, man. Anytime the Ravens try to have fun, Pittsburgh wants to come in and make it a competition for the division. Well, Pittsburgh, you guys are undefeated. 6-0. We'll see you guys next week. Head up to Baltimore. We will see you guys next week. Y'all are not. Oh, man, bro. Steelers week. It's Steelers week. I'm going to be talking so much trash. We will get into that next week. But you know what? We got games to deal with. Congrats to the Steelers. You're 6-0. We'll see you in Baltimore, man. Y'all not going to stay undefeated. This ain't going to happen. The Titans disappointed me. I thought they were going to win this game. But at the end of the day, I got to give credit to the Steelers team. They are such, they play so well. That defense, the front seven is the best front seven in football. That front seven, they've got best front seven in football. That defense is ferocious. I don't think any, you cannot run the football on them. You really can't. That defense is so tough. And they bring so much pressure that you got to deal with. And it's, just, oh, man. And what's worse about it is their offense, it doesn't even have to be great. And they still find a way to win the game. But their offense, for the most part, is pretty good. It's not the best. It's not even top five. But it's pretty good. Ben Roethlisberger doesn't have to play at an elite level for them to win games. He just has to look presentable. And so far, he's played good. Now, in this game, he had three interceptions, which didn't look good on the stat sheet. But the interceptions weren't really his fault. However, it is what it is. He was still throwing the ball, hitting his guys, hitting Juju. Uh, he hit Deontay Johnson, who had a great game. Um, they were still running that rock. They were doing their thing. And for the most part, they were dominating. In the first half of this game, they were dominating. That defense was shutting Derrick Henry down. And Ryan Tannehill couldn't get anything going. He had one good drive. And for the rest of the half, they couldn't do anything. Anything. That Pittsburgh's defense shut down the Titans. And the offense for the Steelers, they were playing really good. Surprise. They were actually playing. Well, I'm not going to say really. They were playing somewhat good. They had a 24-7 lead going into halftime. And I'm looking at this like, yo, this can't be happening. Are you telling me the Steelers really finna blow out the Titans? If they would have blown out the Titans, I would have been completely scared. I would have just conceded and said, you know what? Baltimore ain't going to beat this team next week. Unless we get in some. Unless we're getting two legit receivers like two elite receivers out of nowhere in a the trade there's no way we're beating this defense but luckily for me the titans managed to calm me down because they made that comeback and Steelers did not dominate the titans so we don't have to worry about that though we should probably make a move somewhere because uh Pittsburgh's still tough. Good thing we got Ngakwe because we're going to need a pressure band. We're going to need a pressure band, man. We're going to talk about this. Let me not get, this. This is not even about Raven Steelers. We got a whole week to deal with that. But yeah, the Titans in the second half, they made adjustments and they got back in this game. A.J. Brown is a stud. This guy's a top. I'm, I'm very close to saying A.J. Brown's a top 10 receiver. I mean, this guy just... The catch it wrong. What was it? A 72, 75 yard? It was a, it was just like a 70 something yard touchdown that helped get them back in the game, made it 27 to 14. And just throughout the entire second half, that Titans defense shut down Pittsburgh's offense. They couldn't get in the end zone. They couldn't even put up points. They put up a field goal the second half. That's it. Three points the entire second half. Meanwhile, the Titans just slowly crept and crept into the game. And eventually, King Henry made his appearance. I don't care how great your front seven is. At some point, King Henry will have an opportunity to make an appearance. And he made an appearance in the second half, got them the touchdown, and made this a really close game. Pittsburgh's offense just disappeared in the second half. They got straight up shut down. I don't know what happened between the first half and the second half, but credit to the Titans. Credit to the Titans and credit to Vabro because like he, he got them ready. He made the right adjustments. And for some reason... Pittsburgh's offense couldn't respond, and Pittsburgh's defense couldn't make the stops for the most part. Even down to the final drive, which leads me to that. 27-24, Pittsburgh's up. Ryan Tannehill and the Titans are marching down the field, hopefully trying to get either the game-winning touchdown or the Titans game and send it to overtime. They get into field goal range. 46-yard field goal. Kick the field goal, make it. We go to overtime. 
It's up in the air, and it's no good. And just like that, the Steelers are 6-0. I am so sick and tired of having games come down to a field goal and having these kickers just ruin it. Just make the kick if it's like 55 and above. Okay, a 55-yard field goal and above, that is incredibly difficult. But a 46-yard field goal? You can't make a 46-yard field goal. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious? That really hurts me because when you have an offense go out there and grind, especially in the final minutes of the game, they grind and grind and somehow march down the field and get into field goal range and put themselves in a good position to help you tie the game, you miss the kick? Man, I'm so sick and tired of kickers in the game, man. They continue to ruin these moments. It should have gone into overtime. Oh, man. But that's just how it goes. Pittsburgh is undefeated. 6-0. Titans fall to 5-1. and one. And we had a great game. I'll probably put as the game of the week. But uh, we'll see what happens. I believe and on Sunday Night Football because I think we got the Cardinals and the Seahawks. That that one's going to be – it's going to be a great game. But anyway, congrats to Pittsburgh, 6-0. and Y'all not about to be – you're not going to be 7 0 after next week. I hope you realize that because we're coming. You got to come to Baltimore, okay? I, I hope y'all realize – y'all going to have to come to Baltimore and see us. Y'all going to have to see us at the bank. And y'all not leaving there with the W. Y'all not leaving there with the W. So just prepare. We're going to go at it all week. You know how it is. Once it's Steelers week – I want all the smoke with Steelers fans. I don't care. We're going to talk trash. We're going to have fun. So let's do it. Anyway, that's all I got, man. Congrats to the Steelers. We'll see you guys next week. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.